Hey there, this is James Walsh with MTV Swing Training Systems and BikeJames.com and today I'm going to share a great plank variation with you using ramping isometrics. Now the plank is one of the most popular core training exercises out there. Pretty much everyone has done it at some point in time or another, but most of the time you're sitting there just trying to hold it for a certain amount of time, just trying to survive it. And this doesn't really teach you the tension creation uh, skills that you want to learn from this exercise to apply it to your bike. So what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, apply ramping isometrics to it. Ramping isometrics is a technique where we're going to have 30 second blocks. You're going to have three 30 second blocks, one right after the other. The first block, you're going to go for 50% effort. And then immediately the second uh, 30 second block, you're going to ramp up to 75, 80% effort. And then finally, for the last 30 second block, you're going to ramp your tension up to 100%. So with the plank, what we're going to do is we're going to get that tension from a couple of different areas. So we're going to get set in our plank position, and then again, to get this uh, tension set, what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze our butt cheeks together, we're going to pull our kneecaps up towards our head, so getting our quads nice and tight, and then we're going to pull our elbows down towards our toes. So glutes squeezed, kneecaps pulled high, elbows pulled down. That sets the tension. You're going to hold that at 50% effort for the first 30 seconds. And then after that 30 seconds is gone, you're going to ramp up to 75, 80%, right on the edge of what's comfortable. Make sure you're breathing. And then finally, the last 30 seconds, you squeeze everything as tight as you can and hold it. And if you have to, you know, you're just doing one set to failure with these ramping isometrics. So, again, if you don't make it quite to that end of that last 30 seconds, that's not. Uh, necessarily bad if you took it all the way to failure there. So, but using that ramping isometric technique and creating the tension in your quads, in your glutes, in your upper back and lats, and then ramping that tension up uh, over the course of the, the, the three 30 second blocks there is going to really add a lot to the results that you're going to get from this basic exercise. So, anyways, give it a shot and let me know what you think. Uh, once again, it's been James Wilson with MTV Strength Training Systems. You can check me out at bikechains.com or you can sign up for my newsletter. You get a free workout and a bunch of other free stuff you can check out there just to help you ride better and have more fun on your bike. And I hope you enjoyed this tip and I'll talk to you in the next one.